Good evening. Almost 5,000 children are in care in Yorkshire, but 10 of our local authorities have a shortage of foster carers from ethnic minority backgrounds. It's led to charities saying children are growing up not knowing their identities. They say more needs to be done to recruit people from a diverse background into fostering. Now, in our region, Sheffield has the biggest shortfall of carers compared to the children that they look after. 34% of foster children are from black, Asian or minority ethnic background, but only 8% of foster carers are. In Leeds, it's a similar situation. Here, a quarter of foster children come from ethnic minority backgrounds, but just one in ten foster carers. Sabia Pavez has been speaking to one 18-year-old about his experience in care. It felt like there was something wrong with her. I know that one fostering organisation next month is, is launching its, what they call its 2020 campaign. It wants 2020 new foster carers. Is it a case of just going down that line and trying to get that kind of campaign to encourage more people to join you? Yeah, absolutely, Harry. Last year I launched Faith in Fostering with Kirklees Council, which is a partnership with a Christian fostering agency called Homes for Good and a Muslim fostering agency called My Foster Family. And that's using some really inspiring foster carers who are reaching out to their friends and their family and the communities they belong to to try and encourage more people because actually word of mouth is the best way to get more foster carers from minority communities. Well, very good luck uh, with the campaign. Thank you very much indeed, Fiona, for Thank joining you. us. In other news now, and a 25-year-old man will be tried for attempted murder and possession of a firearm following the shooting of a 12-year-old boy in Sheffield. Stephen Dunford from Sheffield. Now, the boxer Scott Westgarth would have not been saved if he had been taken directly to a specialist hospital. That's according to a doctor who treated him immediately after the fight, which cost him his life. Scott died after winning a bout at the Doncaster Dome two years ago. The inquest into his death has heard after the fight he suffered a bleed on the brain. Tom Ingle has this. Scott Westcup. A new scheme has been launched in Sheffield to help young people caught up in violence to find a way out of it. Ten men have been stabbed to death in the city since 2018. The Violence Reduction Unit has been set up by the Police and Crime Commissioner to tackle the problem, aimed specifically at young people. Mark Ansell's been given exclusive access to the custody suite. Sheffield is gaining and... Sheffield. The battle for the ownership of Sheffield United appears to be over. The former co-owner, Kevin McCabe, has been told there are no good grounds to appeal against a High Court decision which forces him to sell his stake in the club to Prince Abdullah. Sheffield United are at home to Man City tonight, of course, at Rummel Lane, and Tanya is there for us now, Tanya. Now, Sheffield has resolved to become a breastfeeding friendly city, introducing feeding rooms on council premises and policies for council staff. The council also wants private businesses to follow their lead. So, what does it mean to be a breastfeeding friendly city? Cathy Killick's been finding out. Morning, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> so, anything we can do to help you prepare for June? Then? Yes, I've been looking for some tips there. <laughs> Now, she was the woman of the moment for a time last year, hitting the headlines for a crucial court ruling and an interesting choice in jewellery. Yes, well remembered. And uh, today, Lady Hale, the first female president of the Supreme Court, came back to her Yorkshire roots to help inspire young students. She opened a new mock courtroom at Bradford University and there is some flash photography in this report. It's the kind of environment BBC Look North Bradford. Now, all this week, Amy is looking at simple ways we can lower our carbon footprint. Tonight, she's focusing on the home. She's invited an expert to her house for a few tips to reduce her carbon emissions and save money in the process. Do you know what? She's going to kill me for saying this. I've never seen her house look so clean. She must have known the cameras <laughs> were coming out. Where I've lived. <laughs> I've got a good tip. Just turn the eating off. <laughs> you, don't, you don't need it, do you, Harry? No, you don't. Put, put no. a jumper on. And all the light bulbs while you're at it. Some patchy rain for time, but much more unsettled next week. And that is the accurate forecast tonight. She's <laughs> got this vision of what it's like in the front room tonight, can't you? With four blankets and a, a duffel coat. And... <laughs> yeah, can't wait till next time we come round to yours to sit in the cold and the and dark. I'm going to have cold tea. I'm not using the kettle either. <laughs> That doesn't surprise me at all. From all of us, good night. <laughs>